hello my friends how are you all doing I'm doing extremely well it is August the 24th of 2020 this uh, video is about the band cradle of filth I'm gonna rank their albums okay all right so for those of you who are not too familiar with cradle of filth cradle of filth is a symphonic black metal slash extreme gothic metal band they are from England they formed back in 1991 they are still active they have 12 full lengths 5 EPs 3 demos 1 split 11 singles 3 live albums 3 videos 2 box sets and 2 compilations okay so I'm just gonna rank their full lengths they have 12 of them and I'm gonna rank these from my least favorite to my most favorite and I just want to say that this is completely subjective this is how I feel about these albums you may feel different and that's just fine okay but uh, this is how I feel all right so let's get right into it uh, okay so coming in number 12 is uh, this album right here this is the principle of evil made flesh this was released in 1994 this is their first full-length album you know what this is a pretty good album but uh, you know in my opinion they definitely wanted to do much better things in this album I know a lot of people consider this to be one of the greatest black metal albums of all time and it's pretty good don't get me wrong but uh, in my opinion like I said I just felt that they went on to do much better things than this album okay so coming in at number 12 is the principle of evil made flesh all right coming in at number 11 is uh, the manticore and other horrors this was released in 2012 pretty good album I just never really got into it like a lot of their other albums it's still pretty good but uh, I definitely appreciate most of the other, other albums more than this one. Okay, so that's the Manticore and Other Horrors coming in at number 11. Coming in at number 10 is uh, Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder. This came out in 2008. Pretty good album. You know, I haven't listened to this one a whole lot, but it's definitely a good album. I can see myself getting into it more still, but uh, yeah, good album. Alright, so that's uh, Godspeed on the Devil's Thunder coming in at number 10. All right, so coming in at number nine is Cruelty and the Beast. This was released in 1998. You know, this is a very good album. I know a lot of people consider this to be their their most favorite Cradle of Filth album. It's just, it is a fantastic album. It really, truly is. All right, so that's Cruelty and the Beast coming in at number nine. Coming in at number 8 is a Hammer of the Witches. This was released in 2015. Great album. You know, I actually just bought this album a little while ago. It's just fantastic. I really, really appreciate this album. It's amazing, really. This is a band that's just really going strong still. They're just releasing some really good albums. Even still, later in their career, they're releasing some really good material. Okay, so that's uh, Hammer of the Witches coming in number 8. All right, so coming in at number seven is this album right here. This is a Cryptoriana. This was released in 2017. You know, this is a really good album. Uh, this is their most recent full-length album. Again, it's just very impressive. It's just amazing that they're putting out such good material later in their career like this. It's just amazing. Really impressed with this album. You know, I haven't listened to it a whole lot. I just bought it a little while ago, but yeah, very impressive. All right, so coming in at number seven is uh, Cryptoriana. All right. Coming in at number six is uh, Midian. This was released in 2000. Great album. I know a lot of people absolutely love this album. It's just a great album. It really truly is. Lots of great tunes on this one. All right, so uh, yeah. Coming in at number six is Midian. All right, so coming in at number five is uh, Thornography. This was released in 2006. I know a lot of people aren't too fond of this album. A lot of people consider this to be like a low point in their career. And they definitely went to a little bit of a different direction with this album. But uh, yeah, you know, a lot of great songs, songs on this album. Lots of very memorable songs. I think the songwriting is pretty good in this album. I, I, I enjoy a lot of the material in this one. So yeah. All right. So that's uh, Thornography coming in number five. All right. So coming in at number four is this album right here. This is a Darkly Darkly Venus Aversa. This came out in 2010. Yeah, this is just an amazing album. I've listened to this album a lot throughout the years. Really good stuff. So many great tunes on this album. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, this is a great one. Okay, so that's uh, Darkly Darkly Venus Aversa coming in at number four. 
All right, so coming in number three is A Damnation and a Day. This was released in 2003. Again, I know a lot of people aren't too fond of this album. I'm not sure why. It's just fantastic. I was listening to it the other day, and uh, yeah, it's just amazing. I think it's a very, very strong release. Yeah, it's really good. All right, so that's A Damnation and a Day coming in number three. All right. All right, so coming in number two is... Uh, Dusk and Her Embrace, this was released in 1996, great album, this is definitely a classic uh, symphonic black metal album, very very good stuff, I know a lot of people love this album and it's just amazing, everything about it is just a fantastic album start from, from start to finish, it really is amazing, I still listen to it pretty regularly, yeah it's great, this album is just amazing, alright so that's Dusk and Her Embrace coming in at number 2, alright, and my most favorite Cradle of Filth album is this one right here. This is uh, Nymphetamine. This was released in 2004. Love this album. I know a lot of people, again, aren't too fond of it for whatever reason. It's just fantastic. Lots of great songs in here. <laughs> lots of very memorable songs. Lots of, yeah, it's just fantastic. In my opinion, it's just a very, very good album. Bought this album many years ago. I think it was around 18 when I bought this album. So I've had this album for a long time. I enjoy it a lot. You know, it's. Like I said, it's my most favorite Cradle of Filth album. All right, so that's uh, an amphetamine coming in number one. All right, so yeah, I mean, I like or I love Cradle of Filth. They're definitely one of my my favorite bands. I've been listening to them for a long time since my late teens. Absolutely love their music. It's just fantastic, and they're a band that's just still going strong, still releasing great albums. Yeah, they're a great band in my opinion. I definitely enjoy their music a lot. All right, so I think that's about all I need to say about Cradle of Filth. Uh, all right, so thank you very much for watching. And I want to say thanks to all the people who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Okay, take care, my friends. Cheers.